Behind me is the Malibu built by Cavco, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing has some features that I have never seen before. This is 540 square feet, it's a park model RV, and like I say, there's a lot going on inside this home, so I'm gonna go through it, have a look around, and talk about some of the features that are all really brand new to me. Let's do it. The first feature that I've never seen before is this roll-up window on the side. They've actually got one on both sides, so it kind of gets you to that indoor-outdoor living. What I like about this is on the side they've got this bar here, which is cool if you're in a holiday type setting and you have a couple friends over. They can belly up to this bar, delete a few beer, away you go. I like it. Aside from some of the added features, another thing I really like about this unit is the look itself. So this section, the covered porch, comes done from the factory. Anything that's extended past that wall and on the side is going to be built on site. But you've got to start when this thing comes out of the factory. And overall, I think this is just a great look. Here's a look from the inside going out and you can really get an idea of how much natural light comes in from the windows on the end. You got the windows on the side. This space is just, it's awesome. On top of that, look at how high this ceiling is. This is a great space. At the back of the home, out the bedroom, this right here, is an outdoor shower. Another feature that I have never seen coming complete from the factory before, but it does. This rolls out of the factory and it's got an outdoor shower built in. I'm gonna get up in there and do a little B-roll, but there's still people marching through this home, so I wanted to show it from the back. Outdoor shower, crazy. Here's a look from the bedroom looking out of the outdoor shower. So you can see the corner of the beds there, if it's in the shot. You basically roll off the end, put your feet on the ground, slide the door open, and then march out jump in the shower, and it's, it's cool. You're outside having a shower, it's fun. Behind me is the other roll-up door that's opposite the one to the bar. So you could really take this and make it indoor-outdoor living. You open the thing wide open on a nice day. Um, yeah, I like it. This year, the International Builders Show at the Las Vegas Convention Center drew the biggest crowd in 15 years or something like that. Those who went were treated to some serious eye candy with a parking lot full of prefab homes. I can't remember exactly how many prefab companies were there last year, but it seems to me there were a lot more this year. I don't have the stats on that, but that's what I'm going with, okay? One of the biggest surprises for me was the Malibu, the model I'm showing here today, and it surprised me for a couple different reasons. Probably the biggest reason of all was the look. I have seen a similar look from a few different companies in the modular space, but I don't think I've ever seen it done quite like this in the park model space. Granted, I don't follow the trends as closely in park models as I do in modulars, but either way, this thing has it going on. The second thing that surprised me about this unit was just how much they tricked it out above and beyond what I would consider normal everyday options, as you just saw with the features mentioned. I don't know if it was built specifically for the show or if this is the spec that'll be run by the dealer who had it built, but I do know this. They decked this thing out and it was getting some attention at the show. That much I know for sure. One or two years ago, I did a video on a new park model facility that had been announced in Glendale, Arizona, and turns out that's where this home was built. The home was built by Cavco, and after the show, I believe it was being moved to a park model community that was being built out where it'll be put for sale. I don't know exactly where that community is located, but I'll dig through the pile of business cards I got from the show and see if I can find the guy that I was talking to, and if I do, I'll update those details in the description below. If you haven't heard of Cavco, they're one of the big dogs in the offsite construction space with fact Factories located all over the United States. That's probably more than enough chit chat. Let's get back to this park model. The description of the Malibu says this small footprint home features an open air center patio with an outdoor kitchen and main dining area. The main suite is situated toward the back to provide private access to an outdoor shower area. The open air kitchen patio has easy access to the living room thanks to an amazing bifold glass door. This home will also come with smart features that include lighting, window coverings, audio video security, and smart thermostats. Okay. Bringing up the floor plan, the way they have this thing set up, there are entrances on the end and side. From what I understand, technically the center part of the home is an outdoor kitchen built on a deck, which is why they're able to get a larger footprint than the normal 400 square feet. Nice little workaround because it all felt like interior space from where I was standing. The front of the Malibu has a spacious living room with access to the front porch, and this is by far the best space in the unit. The combination of high ceiling and all the windows really make this space feel roomy. Right in the middle is the outdoor kitchen that is pretty much indistinguishable from a regular kitchen except for the roll-up doors and heading towards the outdoor shower at the end of the home the next space is the bathroom the bathroom has 
all the stuff along with a perfect place to put on a fresh pair of socks. Notice that it has two doors with a walkway to the bedroom because through the bathroom is the only access to the bedroom. The bedroom has a bunch of built-in storage with a sliding glass door out to the outdoor shower. I'm certainly not gonna go all the way to Las Vegas without doing a proper walk around of this unit, so let's get it. I'm starting at the back and going most of the way around because there was a set of stairs blocking my path, but it's close enough. At the back of the home, we're looking at the outdoor shower, something you don't see every day, and I'm curious to hear if it's something people would use or if it's gonna collect dust. I want to want to think I'd use it, but I can't be sure until I had it. I've never lived anywhere with an outdoor shower, so have no point of reference. The exterior is finished with a white vertical siding and a subtle touch that I think makes this unit pop is the white trim around the windows against the black window frames. This model is optioned up with a metal roof and we get a look at my favorite feature on the home as we circle around the front and head towards the side door. For the record, my favorite feature is those windows on the end. I think it looks awesome. The side door is a motorized roller, so I'm not entirely sure if it's possible to use it as a daily entrance or if it would make more sense to go in the end. For show purposes, people were coming and going through the side door and it worked well because of the width. Real people mover. Entering into the outdoor indoor kitchen space of the home, there's another look at the access to the bar top on the side of the home. The kitchen is open to the living room and could be closed off with the bifold glass door. Another feature I'm personally not seeing too often, interior bifold glass doors. At the end of the living space, another look at the wall of windows with the door out to the deck. The living space was staged with a massive TV, couch, coffee table, and a couple of chairs, and it all fit well and looked great. Turning back and heading toward the other end of the home, it's through the kitchen with a quick peek at a few of the cabinets, and another look at the garage door style window before entering into the bathroom. The bathroom has a sink, toilet, and shower on one side with a built-in on the other. Did you see that little stool that's sitting there? That's where I'd put on my socks. Not that it's really relevant or anyone cares. Moving on. The bedroom has even more built-in storage and yes, we gotta take another look at the outdoor shower because it isn't something you see every day. Why not? The outdoor shower is a highlight. Going back the other direction, there's another look at the sock station and it continues through the kitchen down towards the living room. And let's get another look at this space. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but how about that chandelier? Perfect space to have a couple friends over for a box social, and if you've got more friends than me, they can spill out onto the deck. It's a unique plan with unique features. Very cool build by Cavco. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna get into their pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but won't be accurate at the time of posting this video. This was the last home I toured at the show and I snuck in after the show ended so I was running around trying to get as much footage as possible and I didn't take note of the price. My bad. What can I say? I'm not a big note taker but I will email the card guy and if I get the price back I'm going to post it down below in the description. You can look for it there. Final thoughts on the Malibu from Cavco. This thing is absolutely dripping with features. You got the roll up doors on either side. You've got the outdoor shower at the back. You've got high ceilings. You've got skylights. You've got the covered porch on the front with all of those windows. So they have absolutely decked this thing out. It's, it's really cool to see. It was a surprise at the show that I wasn't expecting. Speaking of which, it's five o'clock on Thursday. The show's over. Bye.